In this video, we're going to be talking about memorized transactions in Sage 50. So memorized transactions are like templates that you can create as shortcuts uh, to, for entering, entering transactions. Um, they're different from uh, recurring transactions in that recurrings happen on a, on a fixed schedule and always for the same amounts. Uh, but memorized transactions happen whenever you choose to use one and uh, you can edit uh, parts of the transaction too. So you can see that you can set them up for quotes, sales invoices, purchase orders, payments, or general journal entries. And there's two ways that you can uh, can create memorized transactions and also two ways that you can create new entries based on a memorized transaction. I'm going to show you both ways. Obviously one way to create one is to go here to the maintain menu and memorize transactions and then choose your transaction type. And we'll choose a sales invoice. And so every every template, every memorized transaction has to have an ID. So we're going to call this our Bird Lovers Kit. And we're going to skip the customer ID because we're going to make a package of items here that we can sell to any customer. So we're going to add one birdhouse kit. And there's going to be one bird feeder and one bag of bird seed. And then there's also going to be a bird bath. So we'll save that. And then one way that you can use the memorized transaction is to start from the memorized transaction screen. So for uh, this time it's going to be memorized sales invoices. And you would find the uh, template that you want to use here in the list and click the select button. And it's going to create a new entry. It's warning me that I don't have enough inventory on hand, but that's okay for demonstration here. And now here's my invoice. So I could fill in whatever customer I want. And there, there it is. So I could change the date. I could make any edits. I could add items to this. Well, whatever you want to do with it. At that point, it's just as if you had hand entered this. There's no link back to the template. So if you were to change this, it would not do anything to your template. And let's uh, let's click new here. And we could also use it by. Um, by starting from the transaction window, so in this case the sales invoicing window. Right here, the list button that normally you would use to pull up an existing invoice, we're going to hit this down arrow that's next to it and choose select. And now you can see we get a list of our memorized transactions. So there we can choose our bird lover kit again and get the same warning. And there's our invoice. So you can uh, you can also create memorized transactions from the transaction entry screen. So let's do a payment this time. And so let's uh, let's say that we want to make a loan payment. And that's going to go to our uh, note payable. And then we'll have a line for interest. Okay, so in this case, we're going to leave the amounts blank because they're going to change every time. But this payment is always going to be to the same vendor, so we've filled in a vendor ID. Unlike last time, we left the customer ID blank and filled in the amounts. So you can use whatever combination of entries you need that, you know, that's going to be helpful um, you know, for shortcutting your data entry. So now, instead of clicking Save, because that would just save a new payment, I'm going to hit the down arrow next to that. And I'm going to say Memorize. And so we can give this a new, um, you know, uh, give this an ID here. So maybe we'll call this truck payment or whatever we want to call it. And you can put in, you know, uh, a longer description. Maybe you want to call it, uh, you know, 2018 
F-150 payment or something like that. And then you can save it. And now that's on the list just like just like any uh, any other memorized transaction. Uh, you can also edit memorized transactions. Um, to do that, you would go back to the maintain menu and then memorize transactions. Let's go back to our sales invoices. We'll pull up our bird lovers kit. And let's say that we want to change this so that now the kit includes two bags of bird seeds. You would just make that change, save it, um, and then you're done. It'll use that uh, these new settings the next time we, we uh, use the memorized transaction. I do also want to make one other comment on uh, using memorized transactions from the uh, from the transaction windows. It does vary a little bit uh, depending on the transaction type. They weren't always consistent in uh, their methodology. So I'll hear back in the invoicing window if I wanted to create a new uh, a new memorized transaction from here. Um, I would go instead of go see there's no arrow by the save but there is an arrow by copy here so I would hit that and I would choose memorize for future use and then it would fill that in here and uh, give it an ID description whatever I needed to do with it um, and that would create a memorized invoice for me so a little bit different um, from the memorized payments same idea uh, just different uh, you know, different location of the button but you can always do all of them from the maintain menu and memorize transactions. So uh, that's it. I hope you find that helpful. You know, they they can be really good you know, time-saving uh, data entry shortcuts and prevent data entry errors too. Um, so I hope that uh, you find a way to to use those in 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 your daily routine.